You stopped off for ice cream. When the fuck did we get ice cream? Did you know Jeffrey Aaron ad-libbed this now iconic line in The Ringer? It's probably one of my favorite scenes from the movie, and Johnny Knoxville trying so hard not to laugh makes it even funnier. You stopped off for ice cream. When the fuck did we get ice cream? Adam McKay's Don't Look Up is filled with witty and meaningful dialogue. However, the most impactful line of the film is one that McKay didn't come up with. It is actually an improvised line by Leonardo DiCaprio. McKay thought the line was so brutally emotional that he had to keep it in. We really, we really did have everything, didn't we? Bill Paxton, who plays Private Hudson in the 1986 film Aliens, improvised many of his lines, including the now famous line, That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over. Okay, keep looking up. Okay. Ah! Wayne's World was shot over the course of 34 days, and at the end of it, the cast and crew were exhausted. Since everyone wanted to get it over with, Mike Myers and Dana Carvey ad-libbed the whole final scene and just went with whatever they came up with. They had to keep improvising lines while they waited for an actual airplane to fly over the car, which is difficult to choreograph. Do you ever find Bugs Bunny attractive when he'd put on a dress and play a girl bunny? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. McLean. My friends call me John. Bruce Willis was cast as John McLean in 1988's Die Hard and was allowed to throw in plenty of ad-libs, the most famous of which is... yippee ki motherfucker. In the original script, the line read, yippee ki -yi, asshole. Willis changed it simply to make the crew laugh, never expecting it to make the finished movie. Instead, it became McLean's catchphrase, destined to be repeated in every Die Hard sequel. yippee ki -yi, motherfucker. When Han Solo and Luke Skywalker break into the detention block, they take down all the stormtroopers, but an officer comes onto Mike trying to find out what's going on. Oh, we're fine. We're all fine here now. Thank you. How are you? Apparently, those lines weren't actually in the original script. Ford felt the original ones didn't sound natural, so he didn't bother learning them. He wanted it to feel spontaneous, and it worked out well. We're sending a squad up. Uh, uh, negative, negative. We have a, a reactor leak here uh, now. Give us a few minutes to lock it down. Uh, largely very dangerous. One of the most iconic lines from Scarface was improvised by Al Pacino during the filming of the climactic shootout scene. Say hello to my little friend! In Stanley Kubrick's Dr. Strangelove, Peter Sellers was paid one million for his three roles in the film, which was 55% of the film's total budget of $1.8 million. Kubrick famously said, I got three for the price of six. Sellers got an Oscar nomination for his largely improvised performances. Gentlemen, you can't fight in here. This is the war room. Oh, God. Oh, yes, yes. Everybody remembers that infamous scream that Meg Ryan busts out, making every single dinner turn their head in awe, with an old lady even saying to the waiter, I'll have what she's having. You'd think that was definitely in the script, but no, it was completely improvised at the suggestion of Billy Crystal, and it worked like a charm. I'll have what she's having. Did you know Bronson Pinchot actually improvised this now iconic line in True Romance? He requested to actually have Saul Rubinek on the phone, and he really was having trouble hearing him. You, you want me to suck his dick? Oh, who the fuck is Dick? A uh, Dick is my, he's my friend, he's in my acting class. In Titanic, when Leo and Kate are holding onto the guardrails on the stern and the ship begins its final plunge, she says, Jack, this is where we first met. DiCaprio looks at her confused for a moment, then kisses her forehead. Apparently, Kate Winslet improvised this line on the spot. Jack, this is where we first met. Bill Murray is truly the king of improvised one-liners. Even though he is a side character in Tootsie, he is no doubt the funniest character that the film boasts. Possibly, in fact, Murray's unscripted comedic phrases led this movie to win an Oscar. I wish I had a theater that was only open when it rained. How the f am I funny? What the f is so funny about me? Tell me. Joe Pesci's now famous rant in Goodfellas was based on a story from his real life. He partially improvised the scene with Ray Liotta, while the other actors had no idea what they were in for, so their reactions are completely genuine. But I'm funny how? I mean, funny like I'm a clown, I amuse you? Funny how? How am I funny? Did you know Tom Hiddleston improvised the final line in the season two finale of Loki, 
where he says, I know what kind of God I need to be for you, for all of us. This line was a callback to one of his scenes from 2011's Thor movie, where he used the line to justify his attempt to claim the throne of Asgard and destroy the Frost Giants. However, in the season two finale, it signifies the true glorious purpose he's always sought after in the MCU as the new god of stories. I know what kind of god I need to be for you, for all of us. The delivery of the line, this is Sparta, was actually not that highly emphasized in the comic book novel, nor the original script. According to Gerard Butler, after they'd finished filming the scene as scripted, he asked them to do one more take, and then delivered the line in the now famous manner. This is Sparta! Clueless has become a beloved and timeless teen film, earning praise from both fans and critics alike. Paul Rudd, recognized for his improvisational skills, offers plenty to choose from. However, my favorite has to be this ad-lib line from Clueless. I'm telling you, I'm completely bugging. Jeez, I'm, I'm bugging myself. <laughs> Tim Burton's classic was Edward Scissorhands being anyone but Johnny Depp. For example, in the scene where Diane West asks Johnny Depp where his father is, he innocently replies, Your father? He didn't wake up. The original script read, he died. But Depp thought this made Edward look too guilty because people would assume he murdered his dad by mistake. Also, Depp took out almost 90% of Edward's dialogue because he thought it made the character appear shyer and more innocent. Where are your parents? Your father? He didn't wake up. Holy cricket, you're Harry Potter. This is the phrase that Hermione Granger says when she meets Harry for the first time, and it was Emma Watson's improvisation. Director Chris Columbus asked the young actress to say the first thing an 11-year-old girl would think of when she saw the legendary Harry Potter. Holy cricket, you're Harry Potter. I'm Hermione Granger. In Quentin Tarantino's script for Reservoir Dogs, Michael Madsen is directed to cut cop Marvin Nash's ear off, but there was nothing in the script to direct Madsen once the deed was done. So, Madsen thought it would be much funnier to add this ironic little line in between, and Tarantino loved it so much that he kept it in the film. Hey, what's going on? Mm. You hear that? Mm. <laughs> After ranting about how dangerous and terrifying outer space truly is in Star Trek 2009, Carl Urban delivers this final line that sold the scene. I've got nowhere else to go. The ex-wife took the whole damn planet in the divorce. All I've got left is my bones. According to the audio commentary for the movie, J.J. Abrams has commented that the Bones line was not originally in the script, but improvised by Carl Urban on the spot. All I got left is my bones. Faster, 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 we'll be According to the Serenity DVD commentary, this line was improvised by Fillion after director Joss Whedon told him to say something Mal would say. Faster, 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 we'll be I'll be seeing you again. Where? Huh? Where will you be seeing me again? In general, I'll see, like, the next time you do something bad, I'll be there. To, oh, to, yeah, to, how you were inviting me somewhere. Why would I do that? 